I'm a physician, and as a physician, my primary job is fulfill the biological dreams of people. A couple of years ago, in my second meeting with Sami, Dr. Sami Sagol, he has told me that what he wants is that when he will be 200 years old, he wants his brain to function in a full capacity. He didn't ask me for longevity. He asked me for a good biological function. He asked me for a good quality of life. And that is what we all want. When we're speaking about aging, at a certain point in our development, things are starting to go wrong. Organs start to deteriorate. If we are aiming to anti-aging, what we are trying to do is to decrease this decline in the organ function. And if we are aiming to reverse aging, what we are actually trying to do is rejuvenation. We want to renew the organ function. And this is something that is worth working for. Every time you want to start something new, at least me, I'm looking for a prior art. In my case, prior art is if we have something in nature that can do it. And indeed, we have. There are certain plants and certain animals that can do it. But the most amazing animal that I used to play with when I was a small kid is the salamander. And the salamander is an amazing animal because if you are taking the hand or the leg out, the salamander can rejuvenate, can recreate the missing organ. How does it does it? Two things. The one is omnipotent stem cell generation. These omnipotent stem cells are being clustered at the tip of the missing organ. The second thing is a supporting environment. A supporting environment that can give the energy or the oxygen needed for the regenerative process. That's what we need to do. We can achieve those two goals by using hyperbaric oxygen therapy. And when we are taking patient into the chamber and we are increasing in a certain protocol the blood concentration of the oxygen and then decreasing it slowly, what we are causing first by the decrease, we are creating the needed energy, the oxygen that is needed for the regenerative process. And by the fast increase and decrease, we are stimulating our body to generate the needed stem cells, omnipotent stem cells. This is an example of what happened to patients that are going into the chamber while we are evaluating their blood concentration of stem cells. We can see that after 20 sessions, we have a huge amount of stem cells that are going all over the body, and they are looking for the damaged organ. They are looking if there is something to repair, if there is something to rejuvenate. It is just like going back into the embryonic time, when we had huge amount of cells that each cell can differentiate into the organs that he wants to differentiate. So it's possible by rational, but can we implant it? Again, if you want to prove something, you have to start with the most complex, difficult thing to achieve. And in our body, it is up here. Up here, we have the brain. The brain is only 2% of our body mass. But this 2% consume 15% of our cardiac output. It consumes 20% of the overall oxygen consumption. And it also consumes 25% of the total glucose consumption in our body. It means that if somebody wants to do a diet, all you have to do is to think some more. <laughs> more than that, if we are looking at this amazing organ over here, at each time point, we are using only 2%, only 2 to 5% of our neurons. There are, there are some amazing brains that can use 10%. One of them is our former 
president, Shimon Peres, is 10%, but we are simple human beings, we are in the range of 5%. And the question is why? Why we are using only 5%? The answer for that is that we don't have oxygen for more. We have a blood supply with, from here with a certain amount of oxygen, and at each time point, the brain is using all the oxygen that he has. It means that if we are moving the hand, the oxygen will flow to the brain area that's responsible for the hand movement. The leg to the leg. If I'm speaking on the cellular phone, it will go to the speaking capabilities area. And if I'm driving and speaking on the telephone, I will miss the turn. If I'm driving, speaking on the telephone, and leaving the car, and I'm a male, I will leave the kid in the car. If I'm a female, it will not happen. In females, the kids are in the brainstem. So this is, this is the area. Here we need to regain rejuvenation. This is an injured brain. That's how it looks. Not through the MRI or CT. This is the injury. And as you can see, you can see that at the center, there is a certain area of necrosis, a dead tissue. In this necrotic dead tissue, nothing can help. But in the surrounding, if we will bring enough energy, oxygen, together with omnipotent stem cells, we can rejuvenate the damaged non-dead tissue. And indeed, it's possible. Here we are looking at the brain imaging that demonstrates brain activity. Different colors represent different activity, and the green represents the damaged, non-dead area. This patient cannot speak, and the circle area are responsible for the speaking capability. It's called broca. You can see that after the treatment, the area are being enlightened. They are reactivated. And while this area are rejuvenated, this patient can speak again. The same holds for motor function. The circle area over here is responsible for the motor function, movement of the right hand and the leg, cannot move and move after the treatment. You can see the enlightenment area. It is not only the brain imaging. The most important is our ability to do the activity of daily living. And it will be clear to you by looking at this woman, this is how she was after the insult, and this is how she is after the treatment. It's a real change that happened on a daily basis. We can make the change and we can rejuvenate the damaged brain tissue. It's not only motor function, also cognitive function can improve. The memory, the concentration, and things like that. But let's go back to aging. If we are looking at the aging brain in the MRI, we can see white patches scattered all over the brain. This is a normal aging brain. We can see it in everybody. And these small patches the normal aging patches are related to a decline in the cognitive function. Not patient, healthy men. And there is a wonderful work done in Kremble Neuroscience Center where they have took people, healthy people, 75 years or older, and they have done to them on a weekly basis MRI. And look what they have found. This is their MRI on a weekly basis, and suddenly you see light and spot over there. This light and spot are the so-called silent insult. The patient, it's not a patient, it's a healthy people. They don't feel anything. The only thing that happened to them is a slow decrease in cognitive function over time. They are not considered as a stroke patient. But this is the problem. This is what happened to us with age. It can happen to all of us. It can because some of you are below the age of 25, so it will happen. Those of you above already got it or may get it with time, but we just don't feel it. So in order to reverse, in order to rejuvenate 
the occluded blood vessels, what we need to do is to rejuvenate blood vessels. We, gen we need to generate new blood vessels. This is the so-called angiogenesis. And at this point of the lecture, you know from ahead what we need for rejuvenation. We need two things. We will need the omnipotent stem cells, and we will need the energy needed for the regenerative process, for the rejuvenation process. Both can be achieved with the hyperbaric oxygen therapy. This is an interesting example of one of the most respectful CEO in Israel. He's also an engineer. He came to me, set a meeting, he came to me and said, Shai, I need a treatment. I looked at him amazed. I said, why the hell do you need the treatment? He said, I have a problem. I said, it's impossible. Look what you are doing. He said, no, I have a problem. I used to remember 20 numbers in a row, and now I can remember only 11. 11, it's a huge amount for me, but for him, it was a significant decrease. So I said, okay, let's look at your brain. The upper row represents his baseline. And the bottom row represents what happened after the treatment. And the different colors represent different flow. You can see that there is much more red in the bottom line. And that means that we have a new blood flow. We have much more blood flow. It means that we have regenerate, rejuvenate blood vessels. And indeed, like we see over here, there is rejuvenation of blood vessels in the brain, and now he can remember again 20 numbers in a row, which is amazing. The same principle that we spoke on the brain holds for other organs. It can hold for the brain, it can hold for the kidney, for the bones, for the skin, and even and it's not less important for the sexual function that we have. During aging, the occlusion of the blood vessels happens not only in the brain and in the heart. It can happen also in the penis. And what you see over here, this is an MRI, and the MRI before and after treatment, and the color represents blood flow. Again, you can clearly see that there is a significant increase in blood flow after the treatment, and from somebody who has erectile dysfunction, his function has regained to normal. So we can do it. Rejuvenation is possible. And the most important thing for rejuvenation is to stimulate our own body to do the things that he knows best. He only forgot since he was a small embryo in the mother abdomen. We should remember that, and we should stimulate the body again to do the two things, to generate omnipotent stem cells and to bring enough energy to allow this process to occur. Thank you very much.